McKinsey was a true pioneer. He got people to talk about what people were actually doing sexually instead of what they said they were doing. I think everyone has heard of the Kinsey Report somewhere in their brain. They've heard that phrase before. He published it as a scientific, first male sexuality, then female sexuality. He published them as scientific volumes. But they weren't received that way. They were received as a social revolution. The expression I've read and heard in my research for the, for the role was that it was like an atomic bomb going off. He said things that people didn't necessarily want to hear. It's advisable to stick to what's normal. You don't want to shake people up. Of course not. It shocked a lot of people. The movie sort of gives you his whole sex history and hopefully through that you get to know a lot about the man. He was an individual who saw a huge gap in our knowledge. Why not address the need for sex instruction that deals frankly with students' real questions, real concerns? He also deeply believed in marriage and he felt that one of the basic elements of a good marriage is a good sex life. So he created a marriage course, which is basically a sex education course, probably the first of its kind ever. Why offer a marriage course? Because society has interfered with what should be a normal biological development. The essence of Kinsey's entire project was the sex interview. And this is something it took him years to develop and refine. Picking a sex history is a sacred trust. He had so many different tricks for getting as much as he could out of a person and making sure that they were telling the truth. If you ease in with innocuous questions, people forget they're giving sex histories. Kinsey got the ball rolling by discussing sex. What's your most common position? There's more than one. When people are watching the movie, if they can start to see themselves in the film, I think it'll be liberating for people and actually great fun. Do I know you? I'm in your marriage course, Clyde Martin. How are you finding it, Mr. Martin? Oh, it's the most enlightening class I've ever taken. The impact of this work is so remarkable. It's sort of something that at least I think a lot of people have sort of forgotten about over time. We just take it for granted. Dr. Kinsey's findings are surprising sometimes even shocking. No matter what someone thinks about that, whether they're happy about that or, or not, you know, it was sort of a remarkable life. Are you surprised at the success of your book? No, it shows that the world has wanted this done. Any plans on a Hollywood picture based on the book? I can't think of anything more pointless. Everybody's sexuality is individual and unique, and that often we're so eager to be normal, to fit into the group, that we forget about our own uniqueness. If every single living thing is different from every other living thing, then diversity becomes life's one irreducible fact. And if one thing Kinsey did stand for, it was truth a respect for the uniqueness, not just of individuals, but of every culture in the world. And that's a message that constantly needs to be sent out.